Hi guys, my name is Gina Gemsko and welcome to the first video in the dance party update. I am so excited for this update. It looks like it's going to be a pretty big one, adding quite a lot of new stuff into Sims Free Play. This update arrived on the 26th of April 2017 at midnight. Make sure that obviously you go into whatever app store you have and make sure your game is updated so you can get this new content. When you first go into your game, you will get this pop-up, so new live event party time. We have eight days for this event and it's similar to the events that we've previously had where we have to collect candles and jewellery and all that type of stuff. I failed miserably at the daycare event as you may have seen so hopefully I can complete this event and win all of the prizes. So it says get your sims prepped to party, collect craft items to unlock new prizes and choose the ones you want. So let's start collecting. So it kind of just runs us through the tutorial. If you've been playing the game a while, you will have seen this kind of style before of this event. If you haven't, obviously this will be new for you. So I will just run through it for any of the newbies. So make some art and crafts items. Now that you have a crafting station, in fact, yeah, I've put the crafting station down. If you haven't put the crafting station down, your tutorial bit will be slightly different than mine. But have a sim make some candles from a candle station. So as you can see, I kind of got prepared by putting down all these crafting stations. You may or may not have these crafting stations depending upon whether you've completed one of these, these events. Obviously I have, so I've got all the crafting stations available to me. So we have an exclamation mark where we need to go to the candles and make 50 candles for 23 seconds. A tip with this, again, like always, try and get everyone working on a candle station because it just means that you get an extra few candles at the start because this 23 seconds, 50 candles for 23 seconds, will go away once the first sim does it. So as you can see there, once they've finished, you get a candle pop-up thing above their head. Just click that, and you will get four. Four? You will get 50 candles. And this is our party time progress kind of bar thing. So the archway entrance, we have won that because we need 50 candles for that. So we can go ahead and purchase that. Unlock, yes please. Congratulations, we've unlocked the archway entrance pack. And we'll just take a little quick look at this party time progress. So as you can see, as we go along collecting all the different things, you need to collect different amounts of different things. So for the disco ball and lights, we need 900 candles and five constructor coins. As you can see, as we keep going down, wow, punch bowl fountains, smoke machines. I'm looking forward to them. They look awesome. The dance floor tiles, large dance floor tiles, and the ultimate prize is a party house filled with all of this kind of party stuff. And you can see this is the progress bar as you collect. This is the order in which you will win the items. I so hope I can get to the end and win this party house. And then you have your daily goals here where you need to make sure that you come in and try and collect all of this so you can just get the constructor coins. In the daycare one, the constructor coins was definitely the issue for me and I know for a lot of people they couldn't collect enough constructor coins so hopefully that won't be the case with this. So restock a crafting station is the thing that we need to do next. Let's just go ahead and collect all of those, of those 50 candles. It just gives you a little kind of boost as you start. And now, again with this, restock Restocking takes, I think, like two and a half hours. So restock at the very start all of your candle stations. So restock for 10 seconds. So let's do it with all of them. Restock for 10 seconds. You do only get two uses, though. I think you get nine uses with a normal restock. Use a coin flower patch. So again, I've already got this all laid out from the previous event. If you haven't, you'll have to go into your home store. Oh, look at this, side note, I've just gone into the home store. Duplicating items now made easy. Tap the duplication item button to activate the option to purchase and create a duplicate. Oh, that's a quite a nice little um, little thing to have, isn't it? So if we wanted another stereo, we could just duplicate that. That's really cool. But yeah, if you haven't got a coin patch, a flower coin patch, go into your home store and it will be in the event items tab. So let's click on here and our first spin plant is free. This is where we win our constructor coins. Hopefully I get some good luck because I couldn't get anything. I think all I got was ones, twos and eights last time. Looks like it's probably going to be the same. 
three constructor coins, better than one, I suppose. Each time you spin that plant, it's going to cost you 450 candles, or you can use the mega spin plant for 25 social points. I have never spun that, so I don't know whether it's worth it. If you have ever spun that, let me know down in the comments what you kind of get from it and see if it is worth doing. Check the daily goals. We have already done that, but we will just go in and check. We can claim that use a spin plant. Task complete on the daily goal. Collect bonuses. So we need to have started. We have started no one on this thing. Again, as usual with these, I recommend doing the 2 hours and 31 if you can access into the game as often as possible. I really do suggest that you need to... I mean, it didn't work for me last time, but come into the game literally as often as you can so you can collect the bonuses. And, yeah, I mean, it's difficult, these events. I know quite a few people have been complaining about them, saying that they're too difficult. But hopefully this one will be a bit more attainable for most players. So to collect the bonuses, you just kind of need to leave them working for a little bit. And then after, I don't know, maybe a minute or so, they will get like a candle pop up above their head, which means that they have collected some bonuses and you can just click that and collect them. So here you go. You can see that they have little candles above the head. Just go ahead and click on them and that will be your bonus candles. Continue collecting items. So well done, collect arts and crafts items to unlock and buy more prizes. So we can just continue with this now. So I will be back when I either finish or when time runs out on me. Hopefully I can get to the end. We will see, we will just see what happens whether I manage to get all the way to the end. I so hope that I do. I'm, I hate it when I don't win all the prizes. It really, really annoys me when I don't get them all. A little tip that may help you out. I'm not sure when would be the best time to use it because I think I'm gonna save the use of it until a little bit later on in the event. But do you remember Laura Craft? She costs a lot of money to uh, buy. If you click on this A-frame outside your house, where you've got this little woman here, Laura Craft, we can now try Laura Craft for free for 24 hours. She will help make the arts and crafts for the entire duration of the events. Obviously, 24 hours we get it if we try, try her for free. But that would definitely be worth doing, I think. But thank you so much for watching. If you've got any tips to share with people for how to complete this event, in the time allocated. Let us know down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.